All right, so I want to show how to make a GIF animation that you can use in your Behance portfolio or really anywhere on the web. So I have laid out my document size and what I've put here is 300 pixels per inch for the resolution. And for the size, I have put 1400 wide because that's what Behance likes and that'll fit full width on their um, common project file. And then the height is arbitrary, but I set mine at 800 because I wanted it to be this rectangle. So once I have that set up, I pull in all my files and then I make sure that I control click on the file and I convert them to smart objects. This is so you have a little bit more control um, in the timeline. So basically all that's next, this will most likely be turned off, the timeline will. And all that's left is once you have everything converted, you have your design and your layout ready to go. Just go under window, go down to timeline, and that will open up um, a layer in the timeline for each of the layers you have in your layer palette. Now, right now I'm only animating one thing, that's the brand mark but you could animate anything else on here um, just so you make sure it's in a, in a loop and it fits into your, um, your Behance kind of overall brand theme with colors and style and design. So what I did for this brand mark is, well, I'll kind of show you here as I scrub through. I just wanted it to repeat itself in large and twist, in large and twist. So these controls, they work basically like they do in any timeline. They work with keyframes. So what I have set up here is I set the first instance of a keyframe right here. And that is under transform. By the way, you won't have transform here. Um, you'll have a different control until you turn your layers into smart objects. Then this will change to transform. However, if you have the other one, I forget what it is now, um, but if you have that, you could still use style and that will allow you to transform as well. Okay, so what I did is I came in here, put my, um, my playhead in After Effects. If you're used to that timeline, this is the current time indicator, but here they call it the playhead. I clicked on the stopwatch next to transform and just left this the way it was. I move over here click over here on the rhombus here with a little diamond that adds another keyframe and then click over here and then this adds a third keyframe by clicking on the rhombus. Then I go back to the second keyframe, click on that one and that's where I can just basically with this layer selected command T and I enlarged it and turned it a little bit and then that sets that enlarged turned icon on this keyframe. So now you'll have a transition from where it was before, standard, to the enlarged, and then it will go back to where it was before. So that's the simple animation that I found in here. And you can do other things too. You can have things fade in, fade out. I've seen them draw a line underneath here repeatedly. I would caution not to have too much action, uh, but that's it. So then when you're done, um, if you hit your uh, play bar, this will play through and you can see that happen. Under the gear here, if you want a higher resolution and you want it to loop the playback, click on loop there and then hit your space bar and this will show what it will be looking like in the GIF. Okay, just a little pulse there. And by the way, I set this at um, a little bit over a second. One thing you might notice too is that you have like a standard, I think five seconds when you come in here. Um, this is set to four. What you can do is right here, when you hover over this, you can set the end of your work area wherever you want. So I seldom worry about trimming this or clipping this. I just put this right here, pull this over to set the end of the, the work area. And then that's the, the duration your, your GIF will be. All right, so I save this. And then to make this into your GIF, go up to export, save for web. And then in here, we're gonna choose GIF. And <clears throat> everything else should pretty much be standard. I make sure you have 100% dither here. And then down here in your looping options, 
just make sure that this isn't once, it's forever, so that it loops through over and over and over again. Now, if you only want it to go through once, you can choose um, once, that's fine, or you could choose other. Okay, so I'm gonna go forever, and then you can see this is gonna be a pretty small file. Um, 635K, that's a, a good web size file. A little bit larger than you might want, but a pretty good size. And then we'll just click Save, and we'll name this, and we can go to wherever we want. I'll go to the desktop, and then I'm going to hide Photoshop, hide this, and then lo and behold, here on the desktop, I have my Photoshop GIF, and I will just hit my space bar, and you will see that that just cycles through that pulse. The resolution is nice in here. And then all I need to do is go back to the web. And let's go to Behance. And I have this set up all the way at the bottom here just to demonstrate it. Right here, once I place it into my Behance file, just like any other file, this is what it looks like in my Behance project file. Um, I did bring this in and I just clicked on image and it brings the GIF in, the animation as an image. And then you can click those little double arrows up here um, when you're in edit mode to make it wide or full screen. So that's how you create a GIF animation and put it into either Behance or really you can use this anywhere on the web. Thank you.